I'm tired. I'm going to bed. And you know, we'll reattack it, and maybe we'll tr we'll try a few more. I'm not giving up completely, but um, I'm not really sure if the guys casting aluminum show you all their failures, because I think there's a few. There's some failure action going on before the great success comes. All right, I hope this is sort of focused and you can see what's going on. Uh, my studio is shit. So this is the ready filler drywall compound I'm using. It's uh, pre-mixed, it's like a, well, it's a paste, man. Looks like drywall paste. What else can I tell you? So mix that with some water. Not just mix it with water, but in a Tupperware brand container that we have one of. And it's uh, kind of a creamy, well, I don't know, whipping cream, slurry type consistency. Um, it's got bubbles in it, but I'm hoping with a bit of compressed air and a uh, this, we can do it. So let's see what happens here. I'm probably way out of focus, but whatever. Get what you pay for. So, oh, everything is so awkward. Everything is so awkward. I'm gonna have to speed this up because you guys probably won't be able to tolerate it. And, yeah. I'm gonna have to get uh, some kind of little container. This is gonna be one big mess. Hang on, we're gonna have a big mess in a minute. Oh, I hate doing these jobs when you know they're gonna turn out bad to start with, but here we go. Let's see if we can't get some of this muck inside these tubes. Oh, it's not going to go well. Actually, it's not that bad. I added the truck sounds in uh, in the background for you so you could know that we're doing it outside in a like ghetto atmosphere so that's important oh, I'm supposed to spray it down with soapy water first well we'll just do that on top kind of break up the surface tension well it is what it is at this point god hates a coward This is just to get surface finish anyhow, I'm hoping. Probably could have mixed this a little better. It's getting heavy though. Definitely needs something to hang on to that's uh, got some strength to it. This might be one of those ones where it's like what not to do. Those what not to do videos. I guess I could make those for a living. Probably should have mixed it better. It looks a little clumpy. Well, I don't know. Let's try the paintbrush, right? That's what we've got it here for. Actually, the paintbrush is kind of nice. Kind of fixes up my screw-ups. All right, we're back again, and uh, use this. It's a little thicker now, more like a mayonnaise. Ketchup, ketchup, call it ketchup. And we're gonna try and coat this other one and see if that's a solution or a problem. Now there's still gonna be lumps in this because it's got the old stuff in here a bit, but it should be should be better. I probably whipped a ton of air into it, but oh my god, that's so much nicer. May have to recoat this one other one. Just oh, I almost forgot. Shit. I don't know the soapy water with the surface tension and oil and grease and wax. 
from what I understand, should help it uh, help it do a nice job. Oh, that's so much nicer. I don't know. Anyhow, um, there they are. The one on the right is the one that uh, didn't have failure, and the one on the left with the broken sprue and the handle missing, sitting on a piece of wood, is obviously the failure. But we'll see if we can touch it up and still make a, a run out of it. I don't know. A little bit disappointed in myself. Cutting corners. Cutting the corners. Anyhow, I got a clean up to do because, well, it's drywall mud, so... Maybe in another week, get back to this. Do some repairs. Dry out my tears. Well, I was hoping to do a casting. I might get to it tonight. Uh, but I had forgotten that I had built the new crucible furnace and I haven't burnt it in yet. So, it is leveled and true. So the crucible should sit in there. And I have a new crucible an A16 because my other one's a brass crucible so I thought I'd get an aluminum crucible this is the handle which worked well with like 50 pounds of brass although I did put a safety catch on it as you can see right there and so we're going to burn this in and uh, get her ready so this uses a uh, turn wheel just for cranking the lid up and down although you can just pick it up if you want to whatever works this is the burner I used and on propane it melted out brass and copper no problem so it'll be fine for aluminum there's the set of tongs for loading and unloading the crucible into the furnace hooked up to a uh, dirty big propane tank so let's light her up same time as we're doing the burnout make sure that uh, we're not going to have any weird issues looking good so far a little tight but it works See, that's definitely hot enough for brass and bronze. Sun is fading and the rain looks like it's on its way. Here is the, it's about dried for about a week, I guess the uh, mudded molds or lost foam pieces and this is a pyrometer I built years ago with uh, parts and it's just hooked up to a multimeter it should go on there we go and it 
just gives you the temperature. So I should be able to figure out the aluminum temperature fairly accurately. It's all homemade stuff. But uh, as it looks like it's going to rain, I'm going to put it all on hold, let everything dry down. It's all cured and ready to go, and we'll take another attack at it. All right, let's uh, see if we can't make this thing fit in here. I have to say, this play sand is pretty, uh, pretty coarse. Let's call that good. Let's see what the vibrator does. Let's put a little more in. Not even quite centered. Oh my god. Let's try that. That looks better, eh? Probably got it all wrong. But we're gonna we're gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. Doesn't look like the rain's coming. vibrated it kind of wants to float the foam out of the mold so I have to bury it and hold it down while I vibrate it seriously wonder what they think when I'm buying play sand like either I'm the best father or I've got like some weird habit either way kind of want this shit to be a little bit dry but you know you work with what you got all right play sand and vibrator so I'm kind of getting it you know maybe I was a little bit behind the times but uh, I see it these things rock all right, a little bit of off-camera action. I tried to move the pouring cup and twist it. And uh, so that when I pour from this side into this side, it falls into the basin and doesn't make the glug glug kind of action down into the spout. But um, it broke off, so I'm going to try and repair it in situ. Um, uh, that's where you wish me luck. So it's probably way easier if you do this right the first time. I'm guessing. Just guessing. I uh, used masking tape. Like, I'm sure there's some rules against that. I don't know. This is sort of at the stage where it's uh, you just do it or you don't do it. This is the one where everything kind of went wrong. And we're, uh, we're bearing with it. All right, we just started her up. And we're adding the uh, motorcycle wheels that came off the XJ. Gonna heat her up slow and uh, keep adding aluminum.
right, let's look at our disappointment. Like, some disappointment. So, overall, the boss, the gusset plates, where we use the wax to, uh, to do the filleting work good. It doesn't seem like there's porosity. I mean, that's just a bad glue job, but like the aluminum is good. Where the intake is looks good, right? I'm pretty happy with that. Where we glued on this after section, it seems to have gone poorly because it was poured about like this. So funny, the farthest away point did well. This point did well. All the stuff that was far away did well. And as we get closer to the pouring cup, it gets bad. I'm not saying I can't even salvage this. I might be able to salvage this for my own use, but um, I don't know. What do you say? Like, still amazing for a first run with like all untested crap, but obviously I was hoping for perfection first try. So failure, but amazing failure.